We have about five or ten minutes for some questions. So again, we have uh, microphone assistants floating around. Um, so uh, while we just get that started, I'll start off with a question. I'm going to ask a question to George, because he's from Liverpool, and I want to put him on the spot. Can you just very briefly, George, explain, does Downing still have... A me are you the owners of the building and Leeds Met rent it from you, or did they buy it from you? What's the relationship now between yourselves and Leeds Met in, in, in this building? Um, we, we own the site and they rented their, uh, the building from us. So you own the site and they rent the building. You yeah. own the building and the site. Yes, we have actually since sold that investment off, but we still own the, uh, the student tower, the broadcasting, what we refer to as broadcasting tower. Right. Okay, are there questions from the audience? Again, if you could please uh, stand up, state your name and affiliation, and then ask your question. If you have a microphone, ask away, because I can't see you. No questions? Do I have to pick on people? <laughs> OK, we have a question in the middle at the top there. Uh, Stefan Komek, TFP Farrells. I've got a question uh, with regard to the court and steel. Um, we, we've used it on, on some of our projects, and it keeps on... Uh, the rain washes off the, the, the corrosion of the steel. Did you overcome that somehow? Um, yes, we... Um, I mean, I... I've, um, it's, 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 a tricky, it's a tricky material, but I think what, uh, what we've tried to do is use gutters to take the, uh, the uh, wash away from, the, um, from people as they come into the building, which seems to be the main problem. Is that what you were, you were concerned about? I think also the other thing is it's one of those materials that you have to let it weather and, and age, and it, it will gradually you know, take on a sort of more strong patina, but I think we've, we've tried to keep it... And, and not use it in certain places where it's very close to people as they come in and out of the building. There's actually a building here in Chicago built, I don't know, 40 years ago, actually, out of Core 10 Steel, the Daily Center, in a completely different way to what you've done in Leeds, but uh, it's an interesting project. Are there other questions? You know, the cocktails don't start for another 10 or 15 minutes. <laughs> Uh, it's David Scott here. Uh, I've got a question for, I'm over here, Bill, for you. Um, what would you do differently uh, on the Burj Khalifa next time? Uh, what would you do differently? Um, just a few things. Um, the building went, went up very quickly, but I think I, I would try to make it even go faster to try to minimize the... Uh, uh, um, the, um, the, the, the setbacks in the bit, because uh, every time, uh, as, as most people here know, when you do a typical f uh, floor, it goes very quickly, and when you hit the non-typical conditions where you slow down, and, and how, how could one minimize those? But um, it, uh, you know, the, the thing about the Burj is that we didn't know where we were going when we started, and uh, I think the next time we might have a better idea. <laughs> Are there any more questions? Otherwise, I will not torture you further. One more question here. Hello, my name is Karel Vodders. I have another question for Will, William Baker. Um, I heard that uh, measurements have been made of the behavior of the Burj Khalifa. Uh, do you know whether they are uh, similar to the simulations that were calculated? Uh, Across the aisle from you somewhere is a guy named Ahmed Abdel Razak who can give you a whole lowdown on it from Samsung. Uh, but yeah, the, uh, the, the readings are, are, are very close to what, what we assumed. It, it is kind of amazing. We, uh, we do these tremendously uh, involved calculations, all these wind tunnel tests about something. You know, we'll do a test with, of a building that's you know, maybe this tall in the wind tunnel, and we, and we build it you know, four or 500 times larger in reality. And uh, we do all these calculations, and it's nice to see that uh, what you assumed to be true actually was true. So, uh, no, uh, the, the readings have come out pretty well. The, uh, uh, the, uh, the periods are close to what we estimated, and the uh, damping is close to what we estimated. So it's, it's, it's uh, going as predicted.